Now let us move on to the next thing adding and removing the elements from an array. So now what happens here is if you want to add or remove the element from the back side of the array from the end of the array then you are gonna be using push and pop method. But if you want to insert or delete from the beginning or the starting you are gonna use shift and unshift method and these four methods are predefined methods we just need to use them right and here pop and shift does not take any arguments even if you give the arguments that doesn't matter actually on the result but in the push you can give the arguments any number of arguments separated by commas in the unshift even you can give that so what I will do is um, I will add some elements to our student array how see first uh, let me comment this I have shown you this one so let me comment this part now here it is so what I'll do is uh, student dot I'm gonna push what you want to push here uh, maybe I want to push uh, anything any number I'll say any other name his friend's name Smith push okay so and and I'm gonna print the array that is student uh, save it then refresh and you got Smith at the end of the array you got at the end of the array so I told you push is going to add at the end you can right. take multiple okay. arguments that that has to be separated by commas now let us move on to the next thing pop is going to remove from the end as I have said so I'll do the same thing student dot pop so we are expecting the Smith to be removed from here and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna see what is my array now A refresh now Smith has been removed so that was all about push and pop methods so let us move to the next one shift and unshift method for example okay I'm gonna remove these two methods what I'm, I want is student um, and student dot unshift that means I'm gonna add something at the beginning maybe his surname I will say uh, Mike uh, my then wait my car then console dot log of student right so we are expecting at the beginning Michael to be at refresh and you got Michael at the starting if you do the unshift the starting Michael will will be removed now coming to the things certain question comes here what does these four methods return what I'll do is I'll just print console dot log okay wait now the push and unshift is going to return the length of the array after we have added the element and pop and shift is going to return the element that was removed remember these points I have returned them here I will show you how I, how I what I meant by them and let us work further so we will take console for all the things so that you can see what is actually happening so as I told unshift and push console.log is going to return the length of the array after the element has been added student dot push uh, into this I'm gonna add another something called as look okay uh, there it is and so what we're expecting here is the length of the array it will return the length of the array again it will return the length of the array so what is the length of the array one one two three four elements five and six refresh and you got the length five and six the last two lines represents the length of the array so that's what now, when now coming to the next thing the it is going to be our slice slice method now the slice method is going to return the sub array if you want a sub certain part of the array you can use a slice method now the thing to remember here is the slice method the slice method is going to take two arguments 
the first argument is the starting index the second argument is the ending index so that many elements will be returned to you by this method slice method it is going to return a sub array for you if you don't give anything if you don't give anything the entire array will be given to you if you give just one one index then that from that index till the end of the, the till that end till the end of the array that entire array will be given for example if i have five elements i'm giving array dot slice of two from second till five all the elements will be given to me and in this you can also have the negative indexing so i'll show you what does i what do i mean by negative indexing now let me uh, again let me again use the same array the same array so what i want is i want just 80 and 75 so what i'll do is student dot slice starting index is going to be wait, what is the starting index of it is 0 1 and 2 i want 2 till the end of the array so i'm not gonna take the end here it is now if you if i do console dot log refresh sorry refresh and there it is you got 80 and 75 okay so that's what all about slice uh, what if I give uh, zero here? So zeroth element, first element, second element, and you re refresh, and you got here John and twenty. Now how does that work? Zeroth index John, and the ending index is eighty. But the ending index is not considered here when you specify two things.